<laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop staring at me. <laughs> Welcome back to the Scratch Add-ons YouTube channel. My name is Cool Scratcher, or I guess you can call me Mohit. Now, now that I have like this um, proper camera thing going on here. Hi. Actually, I have two camera things going on here. I have one here, and then I have one here. And I don't know why this red light is so bright. I didn't set it like that. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. By the time that you're watching this, by the time it's edited, and by the time it's out on the Scratch Add-ons channel, it's probably New Year's for you, wherever you are in the world. So. Happy New Year's. This is update 1.30. So yeah, 1.30. It's a nice round big number. <laughs> so there's not a lot of add-ons in this update. It's mainly just like stuff that leads up to bigger add-ons, but there are some cool things in here. They're mainly just quality of life. There is a setup for an add-on that's going to actually be added. Next version 1.31. So the first add-on is collapsing sprite properties. So let me turn this on. And basically what this does is it collapses the sprite properties. And now just realizing that the laptop fan is acting like a jet engine. So that might be a little bit loud. Basically what you can see is that immediately when I go inside of this, this whole sprite property section is gone. So there's no way to edit the sprite properties unless you click on this little eye over here and this will open it like this. You can edit it like this and you can click on this button to collapse it. Now there are a few options like collapse panel by default and if I turn this off and I refresh the page, basically what this will do is just whenever you load up it, it, into it, it'll actually just stay extended unless you want it to specifically collapse in which case you can click on this and it'll collapse. And here there's automatically collapse when mouse leaves sprite panel. That should be pretty self-explanatory. And it'll just automatically collapse unless the mouse is in this area. So unless you're specifically editing these fields, it will collapse. And that's pretty cool. Next up is insert blocks by name. So yeah, this isn't a new add-on. This is basically just a moved section of an add-on. And um, this is part of the developer tools add-on, more like a mega add-on because it has like 20 million features in it. Pretty self-explanatory, unless you forgot how this works, you can press the three dots, uh, except I don't have that because I'm on a laptop now. So control space, not shift space. And you can type in any block. Dr. Pain. Did you hear something? I, I swear I just heard something. I don't know, maybe I'm going insane. And yeah, easy. So. What this is actually gonna lead up to is this. And what you're seeing on your screen right now is what it is gonna eventually be. And I know what you're thinking, this is insane. Soon you'll be able to type complicated expressions into that block selector and it'll do the whole script for you. So, I mean, what's not to love? Uh, that was the most cringeworthy thing I could have said there, okay. Um, next up is always show number pad. Basically what this does is it'll always show a pad input and if you click on this then it'll actually bring up this kind of telephone input there's actually a period and a negative sign if you want and there's a backspace as well so this is useful for touchscreen devices if you didn't know this laptop can turn into a touchscreen device so now i guess this is very useful if i wanted to enter uh, pick random 96 to 2 to 20 266 oh we got 140 perfect okay next up is costume editor snapping and basically what this does is it snaps objects to costume editor the bounding boxes and vector nodes that probably makes no sense if i read it out like that so i'm just going to show you you'll now see that there are, there are these very helpful lines and these might remind you of figma or any basically any kind of professional photo editing vector editing illustration software where you can drag everything and there'll be these handy lines that basically just tell you what is aligned to what so now i'm aligned to the edge of andy now, if you look at the auto hiding block palette, there's this animation speed option. And this is a revamped version of an already existent option. And this basically just lets you set these different animation speed. And there's just been some changes to the speeds of these. And this works on basically any add-on that involves this kind of option. So if you didn't know, unshared projects are no longer visible via Turbo Warp. And that is sad because that used to be one of the main selling points of Turbo Warp. And now it's non-existent. So. Hooray, I guess. And we've actually updated all of our add-ons to be compatible. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, that here's the document. Um, you can read this if you want. I'll leave this link below. This has been all fixed. There's nothing going on with it anymore. Uh, oh my god, stop! The volume slider add-on 
now has a lot of bug improvements and fixes because there was a lot of them. Yeah, it should work smoothly now. So, um, you know what happened um, after that last clip? Um, I was just recording, you know, I was I was busy recording the new Scratch Add-ons update video and then the camera died. <laughs> this segment is recorded a day later, um, today. I'm editing the video right now and it has taken me a while. This is what I use to edit everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute the desktop. And there's a lot of stuff in this, like, like a lot a lot there's a lot of talking a lot of funny moments um a lot of complex thing i have to do this multi-cam thing like if i for some reason i want to switch to the other camera i can just make a cut over here come over here right click switch multi-cam and switch it here and now all of a sudden i have this multi-cam angle and it's synchronized like that happy new year everybody so what happened this year recap of the year uh well we got the opacity slider We got the opacity and um, 